so this is after breakfast um, on day two. I haven't done their morning session yet. Um, last night we did the evening session and then I think they were sort of cuddling by the bar like they are now. Only Dodger, I think they were side by side. And then I went to bed and a little bit later, I'm not sure if I heard sort of a commotion or not, but then a little bit later I woke up um, to check Dodger's water and Dodger was in the corner here and he slept there I think all night it seems like. So I don't know if something happened or he just wanted to sleep there. So I'm not sure. <laughs> But I do sort of remember when I went to bed that they were together against the bars. And so I wasn't sure how this morning was going to be. But it looks like they're, they're pretty comfortable. <laughs> so I'm going to wait a little bit and then go do their morning session. So here we are post morning session of day two of the multiple short bonding sessions in the sink. And Jack Jack had a little scared because he got kind of slippery in the sink and I was trying to get him out. And so he ended up just kind of jumping into my arms there at the end when I was trying to pull him out. And Poor little guy, he was pretty freaked out. <laughs> so I have to figure out a better way to get him out of the sink because he's not very like Dodger, I don't know, Dodger has a certain way of handling himself when sur surfaces are slippery, like hardwood and stuff, and Jack-Jack seems to kind of flail around instead of just, like, sitting or whatever. So I have to figure out a better way to get him out of the sink. I think I have to grab him butt first so he doesn't try to move with his back legs so much. Um, I'm still trying to make decisions about, you know, like, how long to do this for and how many sessions a day. I think right now I'm just going to stick with the three short sessions and, um, I'm trying to hold out for a week before trying something new. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's a hard, hard decision. <laughs> so... I have to get ready for an appointment, so that means they're going to be here um, by themselves for a little bit. I have some errands to run too, so we'll see thing, how things go when I get back, see if they're napping together or not. I don't think they'll, they'll get into any fights or anything like that. They haven't done that in a really long time, not since before March, really, so... I think they'll be okay, but I, th I think this is going pretty well, and uh, I'm going to try to give them some out time before I go. We'll see how that goes. Oops, sorry. Um, see how that goes with Jack being territorial, and so I did swap them, so this is Jack, and that's Dodger now. Um, I did not switch litter boxes just to remind myself <laughs> I was going to and then I thought well I'm just going to switch them um in the pens later on so or when I brought them back I was like oh well it didn't kind of make sense to put them in with the same litter box but just on a different side I don't know <laughs> another decision that's always hard to make so um, yeah, go do an afternoon session later, and see how the rest of the day goes. Okay, so I'm post-afternoon session on the second day, May 11th, and it went really well again, and, um, I guess when I started off, 
Uh, let's see, I put, I put Jack in first and he did seem a little um, upset and scared when I went to lower him into the sink. He really kind of clung to me. So I just took a few minutes to sort of settle him down a bit and then he was okay. And then I got Dodger and I was gonna lower him into the sink, but he was also really, really apprehensive and tried to like, climb up my sh onto my shoulder and everything. And Jack, I was a little bit nervous there for a minute because Jack was, um, oh, he was sort of reaching out of the sink towards Dodger and I was a little bit afraid that he might try to bite him, but he settled down really quick and so I was able to lower Dodger into the sink fine and Dodger was fine and and from that point on they had a really good session and I was able to get Jack back out with any without any problems this time. I just really had to scoop him out this time <laughs> instead of, you know, my usual just to kind of, you know, swoop him out of there and but I really had to scoop him out to make sure he felt um, safe and secure with me getting him out and he, without flailing around with his back legs trying to get you know, traction on the sink surface. Um, there goes my battery, <laughs> so I better wrap this up. Um, so I was in there, I was thinking about when I um, start to think about transitioning to, to something new, um, I remembered I had this box, um, which I was going to use for a dig box, and then I thought I could use it in here. Um, one of the tricks, I guess, is to use, like, a laundry basket, which I tried, and it was too big, and they, you know, give them a little bit of room, and they just, they, it's just all out deathmatch <laughs> fighting, so... That's why I really like the sink because they, you know, they're pretty squished in there together where they can't, they can't fight really at all. So I thought of this. It's a bit smaller than my laundry basket, but it might still be too big. But um, so one of the techniques that I was about to say was to fill it with um, dirty laundry. It sounds kind of gross, but then you know it just it doesn't. They're kind of you know, stressed out or weird out that, you know, it smells like you or whatever. It smells, you know, it doesn't smell like them. And it's just sort of a, something different that's distracting to them. And so I might, I might take this into the bathroom and sort of transition them from the sink to this and then eventually move this and see if I can walk around with them a little bit and if they'll be okay with that. They'll tolerate that without fighting. Um, I'm just still deciding whether I should do it with the laundry without the laundry since it's a pretty slick surface. Anyway, well I guess there's these little um, indents here which could be a problem. Um, I don't know. Yeah kind of leaning towards going with the laundry because when I tried it in the laundry basket um, it seemed a little bit of a to be a little bit confusing to them so it helped a little bit but in the end it was still just it was too much nipping and um, oh, there he goes good boy gentle gentle good boy oh they're grooming each other Oh my goodness, that is, that's really big. Wow, they, I don't think they've done that really before. I thought I saw it this morning, but I wasn't sure. Oh, good boys. Yes, good boys. So, okay, that makes me really happy. Um, I need a second. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, so... Yeah, as so anyways, you know, just another decision to make. Um, yeah, I've totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's really great. Okay, so, yeah, I think I have some more thinking to do about what comes next. I mean, it's not going to be immediately next. Um, I think we're still going to keep working on the sink for another few days, you know. Um, 
finish out the week or week and a half we'll see how it goes um and then yeah i'll i'll keep thinking about the next steps to kind of transition from the sink to something else and just keep expanding the space i think is hopefully what's gonna work here all right well I guess that does it for our afternoon session, since we've already seen how <laughs> that worked out. Um, and I'll do a night session, and then I'll either um, update on uh, today, t later tonight, or do a session three uh, update on session three. Okay. So this is the morning of day three, and. Uh, I'm just recording this to finish off um, the day two video since I think I'm not going to do too much recording today unless something you know, like major happens. Um, that, so we did an evening session last night and um, I don't know, there it didn't seem to be like that much interaction going on once we came back. Um, they just had their dinner, and then um, I think they were kind of flapped on opposite sides of the cage for a while, but they may have, you know, had some interactions in the middle of the night that I don't know about. Um, the other thing is I notice that they seem to be mirroring each other a little more. So, like, if one lays down, then the other one comes to lay down, and then if one goes to jump in the litter box seat A, then the other one seems to kind of follow. So, I just think that's kind of interesting. I, yeah, see. I don't know. Um, they haven't done that in a while. It seems like they're kind of following each other around a bit. <clears throat> Yeah, you guys are trying to figure it out, I think. Oh, good boy. Good boy. So, yeah. Um, so it's nothing major, like, going on in either direction. So, you know, I'm okay with that. Like, it's still, it's still progress to me. Oh, <laughs> this kind of stuff, you know. And... So I'm just I'm just still trying to keep hopeful that uh, that they can be back together again. I think they can. I'm just this is like the most hopeful I think I've been in a really long time. So I'm just gonna keep going, and um, I think um, I'll just record. You know, anything major, I might do, like, a short update, like, once a day until we switch to something new. But pretty much I'm just going to keep up with the same thing we've been doing, the five-minute sessions three times a day. Um, <clears throat> I was debating going back to a longer session, but I think I'm just going to stick out with this for, you know, for, like I said, like, the week or week and a half. So, yeah... We'll see how much I record. I don't think I'm going to record that much since it's pretty much just what's been going on for now. And I'll update if there's anything really major. And then um, I'll just come back when with, you know, more longer, probably detailed videos when I decide to switch to something new. Okay, so that ends my day two video. We'll see what I do for day three if I do anything. <laughs>